Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, doing my walk and talk here on the beautiful beach in Phuket, talking about Bitcoin, blockchain, and life. Today, uh, near the end of 2022, the 27th of December, I want to talk a little bit about Bitcoin and the cycle. Uh, I will show you some charts at the end, but I want to recommend you to watch the complete video till the end because there is a very important message in this video. Now, the most important part of this video is uh, that we are almost in 2023. And in 2023, we have a very special opportunity and uh, that is a life-changing opportunity, so as we call it. And that opportunity involves Bitcoin, of course, because as you all know, Bitcoin moves in cycles. We have four-year cycles, every halving to the next halving. This halving was in 2020 and the next halving will be in 2024. And before those halvings, you always experience a bearish period. That's a period where Bitcoin crashes from the top with almost 80% to a new bottom. And at, there, and at those areas, you should be buying Bitcoin. I know you probably know, but to be very clear, at the moment, we saw that huge crash. We are near that period, the bear market bottom, that is a lifetime opportunity for you to buy Bitcoin before that next halving in 2024 happens. And as you look in history, every time when those halvings happen, the Bitcoin price slowly increases in value again. And the next halving is expected in 2024 March. So around that period, the Bitcoin price will be already increasing in value. So at the moment, you can be stressing about, ah, shall I buy at 16K? Or will it drop to 12k and shall I buy a 12k? In my opinion, you should be buying all these levels. You should be buying 16k, 15k, 14k, 13k, 12k, 18k, 19k, 20k. It doesn't really matter as long that you believe that Bitcoin in the long term will again do in the same cycle it has been doing the last couple of decades. Yes, again, around that halving be increasing in value. And yes, that will be the life-changing moment for you now to step into that market because we are near that bottom. And that is what you need to understand. And yes, I agree with you that a lot of influencers and Bitcoin people like myself were not right about the top of 100k. And probably we won't be right about the exact bottom because we can't predict the future. We don't have the ability to predict a short-term future. We do have the ability to analyze these charts in a long-term perspective. That is why I sold my house at a certain moment, went all in, because I believed that we were near the bottom and that we would see a huge cycle. I timed that one perfectly. And now I repeated that thing again for my brother and sister. Last year in Mexico, when we were near the 60K, I told them, you should be starting to think about selling your house and going all into Bitcoin because there will be a crash, there will be a bear market, and that will be the moment your house should have been sold, so yet you are possible so that it's possible to go all into Bitcoin. They did. They sold their houses. The timing was perfect on the top of the housing market, in my opinion. And then now they are going all into Bitcoin, dollar cost averaging. And by that, multiplying their capital in the next couple of years, because I believe Bitcoin will be going way higher than the previous all time high of 70K. Yes, maybe it's 120K, maybe it's only 100K, maybe it's only 90K. Does it matter? they are buying around 16k maybe even they get lucky around 15 or 12k i don't believe it but maybe they get lucky and then from 15 or 16 or 20k to 100k it's times five their capital times five that is a life-changing opportunity that they took last year and they are going to succeed in my opinion and you could be taking that same life-changing opportunity i'm not selling i'm not telling you to sell your house but I'm telling you to sell all that materialistic stuff that you don't need. Third car, second car, motorbike, uh, the whole, like your whole storage room full with shit that you never use. Sell it, buy Bitcoin, and when Bitcoin goes times four or five, you can easily buy that bag in the future, guys. Do understand that we are making these YouTube videos to educate you. I'm not here to scam you. I am here to try to educate you how to change your life by having the capital work for you. So not working to pay your bills, but using the capital that you own to create more capital so you can pay your bills from the increase of your capital, not from the hard labor you need to do for a job, for a boss that you really don't like to do. That is the whole plan D. 
you know, sell everything that is a luxury, go all in, live a little bit minimalistic during, during the bear market, so you hold as much as possible Bitcoins, and at the end, you will be laughing your ass off because Bitcoin will be increasing in value again. It is a four-year cycle from halving to halving, and every cycle has its tops, and every cycle has its bottoms, and you won't be able to predict the exact top and the exact bottom, but you will be able to sell near the top and to buy back near that bottom. Don't be fooled by all that short-term foolishness. Buy! This is the lifetime moment coming up now in 2023. The same moment that people had in 2019. The same moment that people had in 2015. 2015, perfect bottom. 2019, four years later, perfect bottom. 2023, four years later, perfect bottom. It's just what the charts show us. So for you, if you want to change your life in 2023 and have a beautiful other lifestyle, traveling, digital nomad, whatever it is, then do realize, then do realize that this is a lifetime opportunity that's coming up in 2023. You should be able to dollar cost average into a beautiful price before we explode again into the next halving, March 2024. And to emphasize that a little bit more, I'm going to share a couple of charts that you understand exactly where we are in this cycle at the moment. This is the first chart. Bam! On this first chart, you can see the cost basis of the long term and the short term hollow. The thing that you need to focus on is the red areas on the top part of the chart and the purple areas on the bottom part of the chart. The purple areas on the bottom, um, I refer to as lakes. And then you have the red areas on the top, uh, which are the bearish moments as well. So if you look into this chart, look at the moments in 2015. Huge red area, huge purple lake. Look into the moment in 2019. Red area, purple lake. Now the perfect bottom you won't be able to catch but you will be able to buy all along that bottom of the lake. Every bottom in that lake is a good moment to buy. Every bottom, because when you buy at the bottom of those lakes, you will be having a lot of fun when we go into the next blue run. And that is what you see in the top as well. When those red areas touch that blue line, that is the perfect moment to be buying. Every time, just look at the chart. Every time when those red areas touch that blue line would be a perfect moment to buy into Bitcoin. Life changing opportunities. As you can see in 2015, it was a long red area and a big purple bottom. Uh, in 2019, it was a little bit shorter. So I believe now in 2023, it will in be in between. Not as long, not as short, but in between. So it is a perfect timing at the moment to be buying into Bitcoin. Let's go into the next chart. Bam! This is a chart that shows you um, the Bitcoin addressing holding, holding a certain amount of Bitcoin in dollar value. So $1, $10, $100, $1,000, $10,000. On the chart, you can see that all these addresses are growing. So there's more addresses holding one or 10 or 100 or 10,000 US dollar. Now to compare them, I'm going to compare 2017 with 2022. In 2017, around 10 million addresses held around $1 worth of Bitcoin. In 2022, that is 35 million addresses holding $1 worth of Bitcoin. In 2017, around 6 million addresses held $10 worth of Bitcoin. In 2022, it's 26 million dollar, 26 million addresses holding $10 worth of Bitcoin. And $100 worth of Bitcoin. 2017, 2.5 million addresses held around $100. And in 2022, around 17 million addresses held $100. And then look at 1,000 US dollar worth of Bitcoin in the wallet. That was in 2017, it was 3.2 million. That went all the way to 7.5 million addresses holding 1,000 US dollar worth of Bitcoin. You can see that all these addresses are increasing. This will continue. This is not going to stop. We are going to see more and more addresses being created and more and more addresses holding higher values of Bitcoin because people start slowly to understand that Bitcoin is the best form of money out there. It has been the best performing asset in the last decade and it will be the best performing asset in the next decade and has the best qualities to replace the current monetary system as this is the only system that is completely transparent and that is bulletproof when it comes to decentralizing the world in a financial way. Where the internet decentralized the world of information, blockchain and Bitcoin are decentralizing the world of finance.
Bitcoin is the only complete decentralized one and that is why it is increasing in value all the time. People understand that it's completely decentralized. People understand the power of Bitcoin as an asset, store of value and medium of exchange. All of these combined in one new thing. That's the evolution and the revolution of Bitcoin. Wow, the sun is really hot. So I'm going to turn around and go a little bit into the shade, guys. It's really warm over here. So the next chart I'm going to show you, bam, this one, is the Bitcoin price and the realized price. If you look at the chart, you can see at the first halving, we were around $12. The sixth, the second halving, we were around at $650. The third halving, we were, we were around $8,500. And the fourth halving, we will, in my opinion, again, be higher. Again, showing you these cycles from halving to halving to halving. Now, the most important part are these green areas. Those green areas on the chart are the moments you should be buying Bitcoin. These are the bottom areas. These are the areas where Bitcoin is bottoming out and you should be buying because everyone else is freaking out or selling. Bitcoin is going to crash to 10K. Bitcoin is going to crash to 5K. Bitcoin is going to crash to zero. Let them talk. Let them talk the talk. You walk the walk just like i'm walking the walk buy bitcoin at those moments and then i have one more chart and this is the bitcoin unrealized profit and loss the nupl that shows you that every time when there is a capitulation in the market and those capitulations are shown by the red areas on the chart you should be buying bitcoin the capitulation that i was just emphasizing by saying oh bitcoin is going to crash to zero to zero people are getting afraid even the miners need to liquidate their assets because they need to pay their monthly cost so everybody is capitulating everybody is like ah shit man I, I really need to sell now this is going to go really deep down uh let's sell now so i can still take some profits capitulation that is the moment you buy when your opponent in football or any other spots capitulates you attack bam that is when you win the game that is when you score. Bitcoin market is capitulating. Most people are in fear. Most people are like, ah, oh, this is going to go nowhere anymore. We're not going to complete the next cycle into a next all time high. Capitulation, the moment you need to wake up and buy. Now, hopefully this video uh, was a little bit informational. Um, I hope you really enjoyed it. I just try to educate you guys on what is happening into the market. I won't be able to predict the perfect top, the bottom, all of that shit. It doesn't really matter. I am able to educate you on what I experienced in the last six years of being all in Bitcoin. Yes, I sold my house. Yes, I took my pension fund. Yes, I sold my bikes, my cars, everything. And I went all in and I, and I have experienced three full cycles now. So I know a little bit what I'm talking about in my honest opinion. And yes, I'm not going to predict the next stop again or the bottom, but I know when to buy and when to sell. And I am buying at the moment. I am dollar cost averaging. Every single penny that comes in because of affiliate links, because of working, because of whatever I do, all those US dollar tethers, because I don't accept dollars or any other form of fiat, because we don't have bank accounts and we'll never have a bank account anymore. But all those cryptocurrencies that I receive for everything that I do in my life, converting it into Bitcoin at the moment. I am converting everything into Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency that I believe in because I believe that we are near the bottom and that next cycle will again be an explosive one. I don't believe we again will have a double top like we saw this year. I think the next cycle will be a single uh, blow off top again. So if you look 2013-14, double top, 2017, single top, 2022, double top, 2025, single top in my opinion now that was all the information i want to share today with you guys i hope you really enjoyed it if you did enjoy it and give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment what do you think about these videos and these charts i want to wish you an amazing 2023 with all the health love happiness a shitload of sex of course that makes you healthy and a shitload of bitcoins and um, zooming out now because i always want to remember you to zoom out in bitcoin and zoom in at life don't freak out about the minute charts and bitcoin zoom out to the like weekly monthly yearly charts and do freak out at every minute in life do freak out about enjoying every single minute of life especially now during christmas and new year's holidays of course because that is when you celebrate to the fullest with too much alcohol and food now thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it see you tomorrow or maybe next year again Bam.